Good morning, my dear students. Hello. Today we are going to take vocabulary in the first unit. The first unit, which is unit 7. Let's go shopping. Unit 7, let's go shopping. It talks about the clothes. Okay, so let's go shopping. It talks about the clothes, the different kinds of clothes. So today let's learn about them and see the different kinds of clothes. Okay. Let's use here some nice pictures. We have here, we have here, what's this? Sweater. We have here sweater. We have here also what we wear. Huh. Dress. What's this? Dress. This lady, she is wearing dress and a hat. So we have here dress and hat. And of course the dresses are for the girls. Of course girls only wear dresses. Girls only wear dresses. Okay? Or ladies, I mean no boys. Okay, then we have here, what's this? Shirt. What's this? Shirt. So let's put it here. Shirts can be for boys and girls. Okay, both of them can wear shirts. Then we have here another dress. Okay, what's this? Shoes. Very good. Let's put it here. Let's put it here. The shoes. So we have your shoes. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, 
Okay, what's the next thing we have? This is jacket. What's this? It's a jacket. Let's put it here. Okay, what else do we have? Red coat. Or sometimes we call it coat. Both of them are right. We can call it coat or rain coat. Like the boots. We can say we can call them boots or rain boots. Both of them are right. So this is a coat. The coat is like the jacket, but it's no one. It's longer than the jacket. Okay, so this is a coat. Put it down here in the winter. Okay. Then the, we have also socks. But I'm sorry I don't have the picture of the socks. We have also socks. Socks here like this one. Let's draw it here. This is a these are socks. Okay, this is these are socks. Okay. Then we have something we call it cotton. This is the cotton flower. This is the cotton flower, so we call this cotton. Let's put the cotton flower in here. And also we have wool. This is the wool. Wool is this one, it's like the yarn. This is the wool. So let's talk about them now. Let's say them again and start talking about everyone. Okay, we said it here some clothes for the boys and for, for the lady or for the men and some clothes for the girls or for the ladies. Okay? We have clothes for the girls or ladies like what? Like dress, like skirt. So these are the things for ladies. Okay? And we have the bo uh, but, uh, but for the boys and girls, both of them can wear boots, both of them wear shoes, both of them wear pants, both of them wear shirts, t-shirts, anything else. It's okay? But only the skirts and the dresses are for the girls or ladies. Okay, here we have, here, this is, we call it plain dress. It's plain. What's the name of plain? Means it's only one color. There is no other colors in it. There is no any drawing in it. So we call it plain. So plain means it's something like this. There is nothing on it. Just a red color or a blue color or a black color. Just one color. There is no any lines, no any drawings, no other colors. So we call it plain. Plain dress or plain uh, t-shirt or plain shirt. Anything which is one color only with no drawings or with nothing on it. So we call it plain. So this is plain dress. Okay? What about this one? Is it plain? No. It has circles. So when we have circles or dots, we just call it spotty. When we have circles or dots, we just call it spotty. Okay? So spotty means with circles or with uh, uh, something like dots or circles. Okay? So plain is the first adjective we have. Then we have spotty. What about this one? When we have lines. When we have lines like this one, like this, we call it striped. We call it striped. So this is a striped t-shirt. Striped means it has lines. This line could be like this or like this. Okay, so when I have lines, I call it striped. So this is a plain dress. A, a sporty dress. A sporty skirt. Again, here we have circles or dots, so we call it sporty. This one is what? Striped. This one is what? Striped. Okay, what about if I have something like squares? When I have something like squares, we call it checked. We call it checked. So checked means it's like I have something like squares. Okay, so we have here a checked shirt, a spotty skirt, a spotty dress, a striped t-shirt, Okay, a plain dress, a plain green coat. Okay, then what about? Um, okay, so these adjectives we have them, we call them again. Let's revise them again. Plain, spotty, 
spotty, checked, strand. Let's say them again. Plain means nothing on it. Nothing on it. Plain. It's only just one color. Spotty. Spotty means it has circles. Spotty. Dress. Spotty. Skirt. And striped. Or striped. It has lines in it. Striped. Then we have checked. Checked means what? Squares. It has squares. Okay. So we have some clothes made of cotton. We have some clothes which are made of cotton. Cotton means it's like the cotton t-shirts, the, the, the clothes that we use to wear them in summer. Okay? So cotton is just the flower. This is the cotton flower. And they take this cotton from the flowers to make with them the uh, summer clothes. Like what? Like t-shirts and shorts. Okay? We make them from cotton. But in the winter, we need to, to wear heavy clothes. We need to wear something which is very heavy to make our body work. To make our bodies work. So, this, this uh, winter clothes, we use them, we, we make them from wool. We make them from wool. So, the wool, we use to make them. The winter clothes from wool. It gives us a heat in our body and just make our body work. So, we can do this. Ice cap is a woolen ice cap, it's made of wool. And this one also scarf, it's a woolen scarf, it's made of wool. Okay? So, and also this gloves, it's made of wool, so it's woolen gloves. So again, we said, when we wear, when we are in the winter, we wear woolen clothes to make us work, to make us feel work. Like what? Like the gloves, ice caps, scarves, and sometimes the, the coats, and you have here coats and boots, also we use to wear them in the winter. Okay, so we have here coat and boots in the winter. Also we can use the jackets and sweaters in the winter. But, we said we have other things we can use them, we can wear them in the summer, like the cap and like the hat. And in, in the summer we used to wear cotton pants or cotton, cotton pants, sorry, or cotton, uh, uh, cotton uh, skirts or cotton t-shirts or cotton shirts. So we wear cotton in the summer. We wear cotton in the summer. But what about in the winter? We wear rain boots, raincoats, gloves, uh, scarf, ice caps, jackets, sweaters, jumpers, all these things. We wear them in the winter. Okay, so let's revise again our uh, adjectives here. We have what we said plain, plain, spotty, spotty, checked, striped. Again, plain dress, uh, plain boots, a checked shirt, a spotty skirt, a spotty dress, a striped t shirt. So again, we said. Striped means it has lines. Um, plain means it's only one color. Spotty means it has some circles or some dots or spots. So we call it spotty. Striped means it has lines. Check means what? It has squares. Okay? So let's revise them all again. Plain dress, shoes, boots, spotty dress. Check shirt, pants, uh, sweater, uh, spotty skirts, hat, striped t shirts, gloves, coat, raincoat, scarf, cap, ice cap, and jackets. Okay? And we said that we use the wool of the yarn, this yarn of the wool, to make the winter clothes. We use the cotton to make summer clothes. Okay, let's see our first question for today. Let's just move this here. We have here in the first classwork. This is uh, the first question we have it in your classwork. This one. Fill in the gaps with the words in the box. Fill in the gaps with the word in the box. Okay, before we answer the class word, I just want to tell you a small thing. We have something called, we have something called needs, and we have other things we call them wants. We have 
some, some items in our life, we call them needs, and we have other items, we call them wants. What's the difference between needs and wants? Wants are the things that we, we want to have them, but we can live without them. If I don't have them, it's okay, I can live without them. But needs are the things that we need them in our life, so we never, we can never live without them. Again, wants are some nice things, I like them, I like to have them, but maybe I have them and maybe not, maybe I don't have them. So if I don't have them in my life, it's okay, I'm going to leave. Okay, but the needs are the very important things or the necessary things to our life that we cannot leave without them. Let's give you examples to understand. For example, water. Water, can we leave without water? If I don't have water, can I stay for uh, a week without drinking water or for two or three days without water? Of course not. If we just stay all this time without water, we may die. We may die. So water is something we need. It. We need water in our life. We can't live without it. The same for the food. The same for the, for the air. Can we live without air? Can we live without food? Of course not. So. And needs like the things like the air, water, and food, they, these are needs. These are things I can't live without them. If I don't have them, I may die. But if I tell you, for example, this marker, is this uh, something from the needs or from the wants? Of course, wants. If this something is nice, I like to have this marker, but if I don't have it, it's okay. If I tell you this necklace, is this needs or wants? Uh, if I don't have this necklace, I'm going to die? Of course not, I can live without it. So it's wants, we call them wants. So wants are the things that I like to have them, but if they are not it's in my hands or if they are not available to me, it's okay. Okay, so wants like what? Like for example, uh, a telephone, uh, a car, uh, a bag, a hat, a t-shirt, all these are wants. Something that uh, I, I'm, it's going to be nice for me to have that, but if I don't have that, it's okay. But needs are the things that you can never, you can never live without them. We said like what? Like the air, like the food, uh, like the water. All these things are uh, needs, okay? Okay, let's go back to our classwork again. Okay, here we have fill in the gaps with the words in the box. So I have in your box, inside this box I have some words. I'm going to write them in the blanks. I'm going to fill in these blanks using these words. Let's see number one. Here I have, what are the words? Shoes, striped, striped, one have lines. Here, clean, clean, coat, coat is here, and scarf, scarf. Okay, let's read number one. Mary is wearing her dash skirt. Hey, let's look at the skirt. Do we have anything here in the skirt? No, it's just white plain skirt. There's no lines, no squares, no spots, nothing on it. So it's just a plain skirt. So we're going to write plain. And cross out the word plain. So number one will be Mary is wearing her plain skirt. Number two, once I go home, I took off my dash. Once I go home, I took off my my dash. What's this here? What can you see here in this picture? Hmm. Shoes, of course. So I'm going to choose here the word shoes. So, once I go home, I took off my shoes. Right? It's raining outside. Where you were? That. What's this? Of course, I'm going to choose. Right? No. Scarf. This is not a picture of the scarf. Coat. Yes, a picture of the coat. So, I'm going to choose coat. Okay. Then I have number four. Tina. Likes wearing her dash socks. Huh. When I have the, something which has lines, what do we call it? Very good. Striped socks. So here I have lines, so I just write here. Striped socks. 
for instance. The last one. This is Liva's favorite dash. What can you see in the picture? A uh, scarf. Very good. So it's the last word that I have in the box. So I will write it. So let's read them again. Mary is wearing her clean skirt and baby said nothing on it like this one. There is no lines, no spares, no spots, nothing on it. Once I go home, I took off my shoes. It's raining outside. Wear your coat. Tina likes wearing her striped socks. This is Lisa. This is Lisa's favorite. What? This scarf. Okay, I'm going to stop the video for one minute until I change this and write for you the next question. Okay, wait for me. Okay, let's continue our video. Here we have question B. Match. I have here some pictures for different kinds of clothes or different kinds of materials here. And we are going to match them with the right or the correct words. Here I have checks, check spares, plain, plain, nothing with it, striped, spotty, with dots or circles, wool, wool, okay, the picture of the arm, wool, and cotton. I'm going to match them with this one. So, let's see here. Number one, I have checked. So, I'm going to match it with the word checked. Striped? No. Checked? Yes. So, next to the word checked, I write number one. Huh, this one is plain. Nothing on it. I'm going to see where is the word plain. Plain, 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 plain. It's the last one. Plain. So, I'm going to write next to the word plain number two. Because it's the plain number two. Then I have lines. The one with lines is striped. The one with the lines is the striped. So I'm going to search for the word striped. It's the first one. So next to the word striped, I write number three. Okay. Then I have spotty. Spotty is number four. Number four here is spotty. So I write it here. Number five is the wool. The wool. We said the wool that is. The, this picture for the wood. It's this one. Here, this one, like this one. It's just the picture of the art. So this is the wood. I might write it here. Wood. Then I have the cotton flower, which is this one. Cotton flower. So this one is the cotton, so I might write it here. Six. Okay? So we are just going to write. The number next to the words I have here striped, which one is striped? Three. Checked, which one is checked? One. Wool, which one is wool? Number five. Cotton, which, uh, sorry, spotty, which one is spotty? Number four. Cotton, which one is cotton? The cotton number six. Then I have plain, which one is plain? Number one. So now I match them. Okay, let's go to the last, the last question in your last word here, question C. Correct the underlined mistake. I have a word that is underlined and this word is a mistake, so I'm going to write it here in the blank or in the dash. Okay, I have a, a picture at the end of each sentence. We are going to correct this word according to the picture we have. So, number one, boys like to wear skirts. Of course, boys, the boys don't wear skirts. So we have the words pants. So I'm going to write instead of the word instead of the words uh, skirts, I'm write what pants. So let's write it here. Let's use the blue, the black marker to be easy for you to see. So here I'm going to write pants. So boys like to wear skirts. Or it's not, I'm going to correct it here. Pants. I bought a new pair of dress. And then I have here the picture of the gloves. So we pair the pair of gloves. We have the gloves, it's a pair. The socks are a pair, it's a pair. The, the boots is a pair because we have two parts of them. So we call them pair. He 
clean the mud off his cap. What do we have here in the picture? Boots. So, of course, the mud is on her and on his boots, not on his cap. So, here instead of the word cap, we write boots. Okay. Sam is wearing his spotted shirt. We have here is this spotted? No, when I have something with lines, we call it striped. Okay. Okay, so here we have a uh, striped. Sam is wearing his, uh, his spotted shirt. No, he's wearing his striped shirt. Okay, the last one. It is too hot. Wear your woolen t shirt Of course, we don't wear wool in the hot. We wear it in, when it's cold. And here I have the, the picture of a, the cotton flower. So we said we wear the cotton clothes in the in the summer when it's too hot. So again, it is too hot. Wear your wear your cotton t-shirt. So instead of the word wooden, I'm going to write here cotton. So let's revise that again. We have number one. Boys like to wear skirts. Of course not, we have the picture of pants, so we write here pants. I bought a new pair of dress, and we have the picture of gloves, and we don't wear the, the dress in pairs. We just wear a pair of gloves and socks and the things that has two parts, okay? Uh, so here I have, uh, I bought a new pair of gloves, because I have the picture of gloves. He cleaned the mud of his cap, and we have here the picture of boots, so it's going to be boots. Sam is wearing his spotted shirt, and we have here the one with lines, so we call it striped shirt. It is too hot, wear your woolen t-shirt. So here again we have the picture of the cotton flower, so we just call, we just write here, cotton. Okay, let's revise them again for the last time. Here we said we have something in this uh, this unit seven. We have something we call them wants, and other thing we call them needs. And we said wants are the things that I want them, I like to have them, but they are not very important to me. If I don't have them, I'm not going to learn. But needs are the things that they are very important. I can't live without them. So. We call them needs because if I don't have them, you may die. And we said the needs like what? Like the food, like the water, uh, like the air we have. All these are needs. These are the things that if I stay for many days without food, I'm going to die. If I stay for some days without air or without water, I'm going to die. Okay? But what are the things that I like to have them, but they are not very important. Like what? Like a necklace, a dress, a hat, uh, uh, a car, anything like this. These are wants that I like to have them. I want to have, sorry, I, I want to have, for example, a new mobile. This means that I like to have it. But if I don't have it, it's okay, I'm not going to die. It's not an important thing to me. Okay? Then, let's revise again our clothes. We have, we said here we have dress, shoes, uh, boots, uh, another dress, uh, shirt, pants, uh, sweater, skirt, hat, gloves, t-shirt, scarf, cap, coat, raincoat. And we said that this dress we call it plain dress. When I have something which is one color and there is nothing on it, no other colors, no drawings, nothing on it, we call it plain dress. But when I have something with dots or with spots, we call it spotty. So this is a spotty dress. When I have something else with the squares, I call it checked. So here I have checked uh, shirt because it's have, it has what? Squares. Then this is pants. Then again this is spotty skirt, uh, striped t-shirt, gloves, uh, rain, uh, raincoat, Scarf and cap. I wish this uh, classwork was easy for you. 
and you have the next page, homework, you're going to do the same one as we did here. Question one, you're going to fill in these gaps with the words in the box. Question two, you're going to choose the under, uh, choose the right answer from the words between the brands. I wish it's easy for you to do it. Thank you so much. Bye.